All right, so guys, one thing I want to do is record some commentaries on some of the YouTube videos that do things a little differently than I do, but that are genuinely useful resources for the class. So uh, this is a commentary on the flipping physics introduction to work problem. So in this video, uh, a shopping cart is being pushed, and they start by drawing a free body diagram. Now, you'll notice that they call the weight force, force of gravity. That's fine. We've used F sub G before, little g being weight force, big G being gravitation orbit, that kind of stuff. Uh, weight force, normal force, as usual. They draw the uh, applied force and the friction force. And you'll notice that the teacher stops them short of breaking the applied force into components. Now, my approach would be to break this into components. And so then we would have force applied X and force applied Y and little X out the original force. Now, please note, the X force applied, force applied X is F applied times the sine of 59 degrees. This being the 59 degree angle that they discuss in the problem. FAY is, of course, FA cosine 59 degrees. Now, if you remember, I define work as force parallel times displacement. Well, that's FAX times, well, the distance traveled, what they call D in the problem. I'll still leave it delta X. And so this is... 6.9 times the sine of 59 degrees times 7. Oh, look, we get the same 41 joules that they do in the problem. The sine of 59 degrees and the cosine of 31 degrees are, of course, equal to one another. So, our approach does get to the same place that his approach does. Perhaps a little less mathematically dependent on looking at the functions and the angle there. You also note when he talks about the work done by the force weight and the work done by the force normal, he goes through and says, well, the cosine of the angle between the force and the displacement is 90 degrees. Eh, great. A force pushing an object in the direction it's moving adds energy, makes tends to make it increase in kinetic energy. A force opposite the direction of motion tends to make it not it tends to make it decrease in kinetic energy. A force perpendicular will, if anything, make an object turn, not cause an object to accelerate, not change the kinetic energy of the object, and so do zero work from the scalar energy perspective. Um, so I like this video in general. I'm not so keen on the reliance on the math. Understand why does that cosine appear in there? And why why do I write it the way I do with the uh, parallel component of the work? Or parallel component of the force supply creating work? Or adding or removing energy? Those are kind of the key things. Uh, I'll also say at one point he says, oh, it's moving to the left. That's negative 7 meters. You know what I've said. Pick the convenient direction for positive. It's moving to the left. Call the left positive. Call the 7 meters positive. Call the force to the left positive. Call the friction force negative. Now, this particular problem, we don't have enough information to figure out anything about friction, but you get the idea. Okay, thank you for listening to my short video. Stay well, and I will see you later.